So I've got a Maryland State Trooper behind me, and then I've got another one that looks like he's making a U-turn on 301. He's going to coat behind this trooper. Now the trooper behind me, it, tag number is Hotel 30, and I will say there's two troopers in there. One I believe to be an FTO, and one I believe to obviously be the new guy. And um, context. Um, they pulled me over for suspicion of speeding. I immediately pulled over to the side of the via uh, road. I put down my front passenger and my front driver's side window. And uh, they came up on my passenger side, which I pulled over pretty good to the side of the road. Um, because of the advertising the outside of my vehicle, they uh, asked me if I had a firearm on me. I verbally indicated that I did. Uh, they did ask me to step out of the vehicle uh, and to take possession of that firearm. Not quite sure why, but for whatever reason, I decided to um, comply with their request of that search. And um, uh, they have my, I, I, um, I set up the vehicle, hands in the air. Um, I asked them, um, you know, how they wanted to proceed because it was in an appendix carry holster. And, uh, to be quite honest, I didn't feel comfortable with them taking it out of my holster. Uh, nor did I honestly feel comfortable with them trying to take my holster off for me. So, um, you know, slowly and calmly, they did allow me to take, and I felt, I felt comfortable, uh, in their presence, two of them. Um, the way their, uh, their body language and how they're speaking to me. I felt comfortable taking both clips and opening them up with my tier one concealment access holster. Open that up, took that out, and you know, with gun, extra magazine in the holster, gave that to them, and uh, they're just running it, um, you know, in Maryland and whatnot. And um, yeah, so I did put my windows back up, um, only because it's cold and raining, and um, I want to keep my vehicle off um so to, uh, to keep the cold air and, and rain from passing through and making me uh you know extremely uncomfortable um i did put my windows back up but as soon as i do notice that they start coming back to my vehicle i will i will put down all four windows and when they uh do attempt to return my firearm to my um uh, possession by the way, the uh, extra trooper left, and now another trooper vehicle, uh, sorry, an extra, the extra trooper vehicle left, and uh, now an, another one, which may be the same guy, I'm not sure, is now pulling back up behind this uh, trooper, so. Um, but, um, yeah, when they do come back up to the vehicle, I will be um, uh, immediately putting my windows back down uh, so they can clearly see in my vehicle, um, and see my hands and make them more comfortable. I'm not consenting to any additional searches or, or seizures of my property. Um, honestly, I probably shouldn't have uh, consented to that one. Not that I have anything to hide, but I like to protect my privacy and there is no uh, need for me to do that, legally speaking. So, but um, I will ask that they uh, put the firearm in whatever configuration they have it on my passenger seat or maybe in the back seat um and then once this is all over and i've you know separated myself from them and i'm gotten um put a gap in between me and them i will probably uh then return my firearm to the uh my concealment position as i as i prefer so but i don't want to handle it any more than i already have in their in their presence not that these guys are doing a bad job 
All right, they are calm, cool, collected, professional me. I want to be 100% clear about that. Up to this point, they I've had, I have no issues with how they've been performing their job. Um, so, but uh, the purpose of me filming this is one possible protection, right? But also two for educational purposes. And just so y'all know, I'm I'm not looking at the cameras right now. I'm looking at my mirrors. Um, and uh, like I said, as soon as I notice that they exit, are exiting their vehicle, I'm going to put my windows back down. Um, so, because this is a give and take. I, I want um, while I want to exercise my rights, uh, and honestly, I, I really I will say hindsight. Don't know why I did. Um, I, I think. Maybe subconsciously, the part of the reason why I comply with it was because, uh, one, I'm hungry as shit. I want to get the hell out of here. I'm getting almost hangry, excuse me. Um, but, um, so I want to get out of here. I've already got food ordered. I got to go pick up. And, uh, it's cold. It's wet. I don't feel like getting cold and wet on the side of the road. Um, you know, semi, you know, if, I, if we're being honest, a little bit of intimidated by having two law enforcement officers on the call and, and whatnot. Uh, you know, so, and you never know how some might react. 99.9% .9 of law enforcement officers are great, good, solid people. Uh, but, uh, you know, we always got to worry about that 0.01% that are, uh, unprofessional dickheads. And here comes the law enforcement officers now. I got to turn the vehicle back on to put my windows down. Coming up on my passenger side over here. Hey, how's it going, guys? All good. Cool. So I'm just, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave your Sounds gun, great. Yep. Mag, cool. and your extra round. Cool. All right here for Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Sir, here's all your information yes, back. Yes, sir. And I just gave you a, a warning for the speed. Okay. And if there's information about the state police, if you want to read it, you can. If cool. not, up to you. Sounds good. Yes, sir. Any Thank questions? You guys. Hey, appreciate y'all being professional and stuff and handling that all good and stuff. Yeah. Um, just to uh, be clear from my understanding and whatnot, um, I did comply with the, the request to, to seize that temporarily. But just so I'm clear, do, do I legally have to do that? Just to be clear. To... Give you possession of that. I didn't necessarily have to. Um, I would like to say yes. Right. But because, like, we don't know Understood. if it's stolen, you know, yeah. like, I, I, I got you. I want to say I feel like that's like an absolute, um, but I'm not 100% okay. confident. Cool. So yeah. sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. Hey, well, I appreciate you guys. I really Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Y'all too. So my windows are up, which are are tinted. Let's put it that way. And uh, I'm going to. I got my seatbelt on. Everything's good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and pull away. One second. One second. Alright, so to show you all. Alright, they put the farm over here, extra round, magazine. Magazine is inside the gun, the gun itself. Alright. And I'm gonna go ahead and um reestablish my farm the way I had it and the way I prefer to have it. Alright. Drop around the chamber. 
<laughs> or on the ground. Give me a second. And because I'm driving, this is the way I like to have it staged. Alright, so let's talk about it. I didn't film the entire thing, to be quite honest at first, I didn't even think about it. But also too, I didn't want that to let me maybe clear. I didn't think about it initially. Uh, but had I thought about it initially, um, I actually had probably a good 60 seconds to try to get it set it up if I had thought about it, if I wanted to. But um, I would, I don't know if I would have um, because sometimes they can um, perceive that as being an escalation on my part and I don't want to escalate things. I always try to de-escalate things. Um, but at the same time, too, um, you know, um, you can have a conversation as I did there at the end with them and uh, question without being uh, disrespectful about it. But I, I, I question the uh, legality or the, the requirement of what I did consent to, to be clear. Um, and uh, to be clear, he wasn't quite sure. He said he would have liked the thought that it was... Uh, Require, but he wasn't 100% on that. Um, which, to be uh, just so you all know, that is not legally required, right? In order to, because that is a search and/or a seizure of my property. In order to search and/or seize a, uh, a citizen's property, they have to have a warrant or probable cause that a crime has been committed, and/or consent. Now, because I consented to that uh, search and seizure of my firearm. Uh, that made that legal, um, but uh, for them to have required it, which they didn't, uh, that would that would be unconstitutional and illegal. So, uh, why am I uh, posting this? Why am I? Uh, why did I immediately post this? Uh, not to scrutinize them. I think in general they did a very great job. I don't. I honestly don't have any issue with what they did uh, or how they did it. Um, you know, their body language, the words they use, the tone they use, are very good professional troopers. And I appreciate them and thank them, um, as you maybe saw on the video. Um, but I, I wanted to do this for educational purpose so more people in Maryland know not only, you know, what their legal rights are, but, you know, how you can conduct yourself and, and how you can go about that. And this is not a one-size-fits-all, right? So for some people that might say for whatever reason, uh, this wouldn't work for me, that is a decision for you to make, all right? I don't honestly even encourage that people uh, consent to those searches and seizures. I don't, and I usually don't, I usually don't consent myself to any of those searches or seizures. Um, honestly, I think um, part of the reasons why I did that um, probably was Again, like I said, um, I was uncomfortable on the side of the road um, because of the rain and it's cold as heck out right now. I'm really hungry right now and I was on the verge of getting hangry. Um, you know, the way that they dealt with me, the words they used and the and how it all went um, made me feel comfortable that we could do what we did safely, all right? But I want to be clear, this is not a one-size-fits-all, uh, and I honestly wouldn't even recommend that you do what I did the way that I did it. Uh, and the next time I will, uh, this kind of learning experience for me, and, and every every interaction you have with anybody always is a learning experience, but um, I'm going to make sure I do a better job next time of um, 
thinking it through and consciously, verbally, um, and respectfully uh, dissenting from their request to seize my property. Right? I don't. I'm not sure why I consented that time exactly. I kind of told you some of the reasons I think I did, but um, you know, I appreciate y'all for watching. What are your all's thoughts, right? How did that go? What would you do different, right? What would you do different? And, um, you know, what are your thoughts, right? Have you ever been pulled over in Maryland carrying a gun? Have you ever, um, you know, been pulled over anywhere carrying a gun, right? How did that play out for you? What did you do and how did that play out for you? Appreciate you guys. Stay safe and, uh, I'm going to actually try to get body cam footage from that stop so we can see how the entire stop went from their perspective um, and also just, just to be 100% transparent because I didn't uh, get what was sh uh, done. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, videotape what was done in the first couple minutes. Um, so I wanna, uh, I'm going to get that and with that being said, subscribe to the channel, like the video, dislike the video, comment the video, but I want to hear from you guys. So appreciate you guys.